the producer or the movie people in Hollywood was looking for someone, uh, you know, that can train Mickey Raw. In this case, was a uh, Nicholas Cage. Yeah, Nicholas Cage. Yeah, he was the one that originally started the uh, the movie, and I met him, uh, and then I trained him for two days. Okay, and that part. Uh, for some reason, you know, without saying anything about nothing, for some reason he didn't finish the movie, you know, he, he ended up, that was not his thing. Uh, so these guys at the producers and the director, they were kind of like, try to find somebody that, uh, but before that, when they were looking for a trainer, every, every, every people that they talked to, including the WWE, they all pointed at me. So that's how I hook up for, with the movie, The Wrestler. So then after that, uh, after a couple of days for Nicolas Cage, uh, is when uh, Mickey Rowe come in. Uh, Mickey Rowe was one of them real, I didn't like him at first. Okay. I didn't care. And he didn't like wrestling because he's a boxing guy. But, uh, He's one of them guys that, he, you know, he, you know how the professionals are. They boxer like boxing better than wrestling, and wrestling things that were better than, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. So that's the way it was. He didn't like uh, wrestling. And then in two days later, after I trained him, you know, he pulled me on the side and he called me Pop and he said, Pop, can I talk to you on the side? And I said, sure. So that's when he was telling me he had, so uh, in two days, he went to, get x-rays and MRIs on his body. And then he said, I have all, nothing but respect for you. Oh. So how can you do this for 40 years? And I did it for a couple of days and I can't move. 